Yo, what is going on guys? Houndish here and today I'm going to be doing a PvP gameplay and review of the Hakon's Hatchet which is the new Iron Banner auto rifle inside of the Taken King and this is a very good auto rifle as well and there's some good perks you can pick up from the stock kind of vendor so I wanted to talk about how this thing handles in PvP and also talk about some kind of suggested perks that you might want to look out for if you manage to get this thing dropped. So firstly let's take a look at the stock version of this that you can pick up from Lord Saladin because this is actually a very good roll. So in the weapon sites we have the Red Dot ORS which is a really great weapon site. I remember this was the site that you have on the Fangavir Yut and it's a very kind of open aperture site, good target acquisition, um, very kind of precise and everything like that so that's a great weapon site to have right there. And then we have Sure Shot IS which is your typical kind of iron site so that's kind of the round site with the red dot in the middle and then the Focus Lens FLS2 which is like a two times zoomed scope if you are into that kind of thing. It's pretty good so some good options in the sights right there and then we have crowd control kills with this weapon grant bonus damage for a short time which is a very good bonus for pvp and pve as well if you're coming up against a lot of targets and not having much time to reload or kind of reacquisit targets it's a really good perk to have because you get that little bit of bonus damage to try and keep you in that fight particularly good for pve against lower tier ads as well so that's pretty awesome to have and then we have hand loaded which gives you more range which is definitely a good thing because this thing seems to perform very very well at long range and then we have feather mag faster reload reduced magazine size if you want to have a quicker reload and then we have reinforced barrel for increased range which is definitely worth having on this thing again it makes it you know pretty flexible for an auto rifle quite a lot of range as far as ARs go in PvP right now and then finally we have counterbalance this weapon has increased stability which is just a great bonus especially if you want to throw on reinforced barrel right there um, it's just gonna really help you control that recoil because there is a bit of a kick on this weapon obviously the stability is not ultra high so counterbalance is a pretty good bonus to have in general to help control the recoil pattern so the Hakon's hatchet is the medium rate of fire variety of auto rifle very similar to the Zalo supercell style and abyss defiant from back in the day pretty solid overall archetype of AR in PvP in my opinion. This is probably generally the most flexible and usable style of auto rifle in the Crucible currently. So it does 20 critical damage at optimum range and 16 to the body. When I say optimum range I mean kind of medium to very close range or very medium close range. <laughs> um, it will do pretty damn well and you'll get those maximum damage numbers. Obviously damage drops off fairly quickly on auto rifles in PvP. Having said that this thing does have pretty damn good range for an auto rifle. Mine has rifle barrel and I think you can get reinforced barrel from the stock one from Lord Saladin and it performs at range probably about as well as any AR I've seen in the Crucible recently. You know, it's probably about as good as it gets so that is definitely on Hack on Hatchet's side. So it handles very, very well in PvP. It does pack a pretty serious punch and can cause a decent amount of flinch to a target as well. So if you're gunfighting against pulse rifles, the last word and things like that, it gives you a little bit of a chance. Mine doesn't have any stability bonuses on it. As you can see it's quite shaky, a little bit harder to control but still pretty usable considering its stability is kind of, you know, in the middle and the stock one does have counterbalance which is going to set all that recoil pattern and generally improve stability on the weapon. So that is going to be very nice to have on this weapon and that's one of the reasons that I think the stock version and roll of this weapon is pretty damn solid. So it's a very flexible auto rifle and this is why I prefer the Hakon's Hatchet style of auto auto rifle in PvP, say over something like Doctrine of Passing, which is very, very popular and it's an absolute beast in close range. I just feel like Hakon's Hatchet offers you a little bit more flexibility and for most players will be generally more usable and more rewarding in PvP. So, like I said, the stock version of this weapon is an absolute beast. I'm going to be picking it up myself and I think um, a lot of people will probably end up doing that unless they do get very good perks out of the box when it drops uh, in the Iron Banner. So some good Good rolls to look out for, some things to look out for if you do get random kind of perk rolls on this weapon. Glass half full is very nice on ARs and it'll be pretty decent on this weapon. Crowd control obviously which is on the stock one already but if you do get one dropped with crowd control and maybe has better stability uh, bonuses and things like that so it's something to look out for. Feeding frenzy, spray and play will be pretty good. Bonuses as well for those quicker reloads. Snapshot is quite nice also for ARs so you can start doing damage to a target as quickly as possible. Counter 
to balance and fitted stock will also be you know generally good things to have on this AR anything that improves stability on this auto rifle is you know just making it even better because it's an absolute beast and then hammer forge rifle barrel range makes it very flexible like I said and this is already one of the best ranged auto rifles in my opinion for PvP so there's some good perks to look out for in the crucible uh, if you get this thing dropped they're gonna be pretty good PvP bonuses in general but anyway guys there you go that is my opinions of hack arms hatchet a very solid very good auto rifle for PvP and PvE as well especially with that crowd control if you do pick up the stock one that is just an absolutely beast PvE bonus as well as a PvP bonus it allows you to keep in that fight and do the maximum amount of damage to a target that you possibly can so anyway guys I hope you have enjoyed the video if you have drop me a like and comment down below let me know if you picked this thing up or if you've tried it out in PvP yet or if you've got any insane roles of this weapon I'd also like to hear that It'd be pretty interesting to see in the comments but I hope you have enjoyed the video if you have drop me a like and comment like I said and if you're new to the channel and you want to see more content then feel free to hit that subscribe button for a lot more destiny but for now you guys take it easy have an awesome week peace out